Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's video. Uh, the time now is precisely quarter past 1 a.m. and it is a Wednesday night and it is the uh, 23rd of December um, 2020. I just got to tell you that information and it's good for the future when you're looking back at your videos I guess and that means if it's uh, the 23rd of December that must mean it's Christmas Eve tomorrow which is a uh, um, Thursday but it's not much of a Christmas Eve for me because I'm doing me washing um, but anyway can't be helped but anyway I've got some uh, blu-rays to show you tonight again yes once again I've got some blu-rays to show you yes I know what you're thinking but anyway I've got some uh, uh, new ones today. I've just got two today actually when I was in Asda and uh, They were on special offer. I actually got um, two blu-rays For a grand total of 12 pounds, which makes them of course six pounds each And the first one I got was this one Which is called um, Bright Burn and it stars one of my favorite actresses um which is um, um, Elizabeth Banks, of course. <laughs> I nearly forgot her name for a second there. I'm a bit tired, you know, with shopping and stuff. That's that's where it is. Um, but I haven't seen this movie. But I heard it's about like a, a really bad, like a really evil version of, of a type, like a Superman type character. Uh, but I, I guess he's a bit younger. I think it's a teenager that's in this, and he goes berserk, apparently using his uh, powers for uh, bad things to do bad things instead of good things. So, um, I guess it's sort of a, a superhero thriller or something like that. I'm not quite sure how you describe it. But I know it's just got the red background. Um, I don't know if you've, uh, well, I don't usually talk about this too often in the videos, but um, the color red is used um, in certain ways in the film industry and in music videos and stuff. Like because there's lots of uh, music videos, for example, that have usually feature a woman, which is usually the singer of the group or band or whatever, uh, and they're wearing a bright red dress. And apparently, um, in the book of Revelation, in the Bible, not that I'm religious or anything, but I do know this, um, apparently the red dress is supposed to represent the whore of Babylon. But uh, I have heard that the colour red in general is used to represent other things as well. But I'm not going to go into them, them other things on here. But if you want to know what them other things are, uh, I recommend that you do some research on that. But anyway, that's getting off the subject a bit. It, I just couldn't help mentioning the red thing. And plus it's called Bright Burn. Um, which I guess may be a reference to the sun. Bright, get it? Bright, burn. Anyway, but um, apart from that, I haven't seen the film, so I don't really know exactly uh, if the title is, uh, you know, if they have another reason for why it's called that in the film. Because I haven't watched it yet, so when I watch it, I'll probably know. But then again, it might not be the real reason why it's called that, if you catch me through. But anyway, the back cover is red as well, as you can see there. And it's just, um... Basically one photograph of Elizabeth Banks there, a very dark photograph at that. And um, anyway, that's Brightburn, and I got this for six pounds. I'm buying two Blu-rays. I got them for six pound each. Apart from that, if, if you wanted to buy just one of them, it would have cost you seven pound. So you saved like two pounds by buying two. But also in the same shop, this was Asda. They've also got an offer on at the minute. Um, and this is in um, December 2020, in case you're watching this in the future. Um, it, it won't apply then, you see, if, if you're watching it in uh, 2049 or something. Um, so they've got an offer on for uh, two 4K Blu-rays um, for £30, which makes them £15 each. But if you want to buy them separately, uh, they're £22 each. So that's the offer anyway. I have had that offer on it um, be before in the past and they had titles like Die Hard back then and stuff I forget the other titles but I remember that Die Hard was one of them anyway uh, the next one I have got here which I also got today in the two for £12 is this one which is Blade Runner 2049 
which stars Ryan Gosling, of course, and Harrison Ford. And I'm not sure who else, because I haven't actually seen the movie as of yet. But I did want to get this on a 4K Blu-ray, but um, the price has just shot up. Like, it's over £15 or something, maybe 20 on eBay the last time I checked. Somewhere, somewhere around between 15 and £20. Uh, a few months back, it was going for around 7 between 7 and £8, like the cheapest price for the 4K version, but uh, I didn't buy it back then. I should have, maybe. I thought it would have got cheaper on Diera, but it didn't. It's gone the other way. But anyway, um, I'd say you get this uh, Blu-ray because it was only £6 with the 2 for 12 um, I believe the film's on at least three hours, possibly a bit more. I'm not sure exactly the exact running time. But somewhere around three hours, I've heard. It's a bit long for my liking, but I suppose, you know, I can make the time some time to watch it. Um, I was going to watch it on the big screen, but I might just settle for watching it on the uh, TV, maybe. Because um, my uh, projector actually uh, upscales uh, 1080p Blu-rays to make them look almost like 4k resolution so that's handy to have and uh, they look really good on there i must admit but anyway this is uh not got much on the back just a picture of a, a girl there from the movie i don't know who that is i haven't really looked into that um but i've seen some clips from this i don't think i've seen the trailer but i have seen some clips from it, it looks pretty good a lot of people say it's excellent but i've spoke to some people who uh didn't really like it, I found it a bit slow and boring and stuff. So I'll just have to watch it and see what I think for myself. So that's Blade Runner 2049 on UK Blu-ray. And the next one I've got here is a film I think I've showed in another video, but it was the Blu-ray version I showed in my last video. Not my last video, but the last video I showed this in. And this one is the 4K version of Fifty Shades Darker. I know what you're all thinking, if you're a big Paulie fan, you're probably thinking, oh my god, not the Fifty Shades of Grey saga again. But anyway, I, I enjoy these films because they're very well shot. They look glossy and, you know, it's sort of good photography and pristine pin sharp image quality and everything. Good colour and all that. So, And uh, also it's got Don Johnson's daughter in it, of course. Let's not forget Dakota Johnson. And uh, the other guy, I forget his name, but I suppose he's alright. And, um, and as you can see, they're wearing the uh, the masks, similar to what they wore in Eyes Wide Shut. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, you know, and um, if you didn't know what I'm talking about, he has a clue. He has one eye shown on that picture here, and so does he. What a coincidence. Anyway, um, this is um the Australian version. Okay. It should show the right way up because this is the uh, Australian version. Oh, sorry. Oh, just kidding. Um, that could also be the satanic version, if you know what I mean. But um, anyway, that's uh, Fifty Shades Darker on 4K. And as you can see, it's got a nice red strip across the front, which tells you that it's the unmasked edition, which is a pack of lies because as you can see, look, she's, she's actually wearing a mask. That's not unmasked edition. And that's the meant the other masks like everyone's wearing in the supermarkets. She's not wearing one of them. So that maybe that's what they meant. But this was made before all that took uh, all that uh, sort of taking place. So I don't know. You never know. But there's a few uh, special features on the back here, but I can't actually see them. So I'll I'll use this torch because the lights of me camera, me light, me camera lights are. Like in front of us and there's no light behind here if you know what I mean so I can't see what's on the back of the thing uh, right you get a uh, deleted scenes a keys to 50 shades freed which was the next one made after this and the last one I believe some, some people are thinking thank god god I hope they're not making their fourth one it's got something called a dark direction dark reunion new threats the masquerade intimate with darker so that's your extras. That's on the Blu-ray version. There's not much on the 4K version. It's got the unseen version on the 4K disc. Uh, I'm not sure if that's on the Blu-ray disc as well. It doesn't, really, it doesn't seem to say here, so I'm not sure about that. But 
The film is in a cinemascope aspect ratio 239 to 1 or something like that. I believe that used to be 235 to 1. Whenever films were out in the cinema, it always used to say 235 to 1. Well, not you know, when you went to the cinema, but when you looked it up. And on the DVDs, it used to say 235 to 1. But that, seemed to, that seems to have changed to mainly 239 to 1 for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, it's pretty much the same aspect ratio, give or take a fraction of a millimetre or something. Um, so that's 50 shades darker, and there's the back. There's only a few pictures at the top there. And uh, yes, uh, Kim Bassinger, Basinger, however you pronounce her name, is also in the movie. Not for very long, which is in it for, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I saw this at the cinema, actually. And when I went in, there wasn't many people in the cinema at the time. Uh, but it was mainly women. Uh, I don't know why, because uh, I don't know. I thought this these films would appeal to men also, especially since Dakota Johnson's in it and all that. You know what I mean? And also, I think it was directed by James Foley. I forget where else he directed, but his name is very familiar to me from somewhere. Just can't quite place him. Well, that's Fifty Shades Darker. As I think I've said a million times now. Anyway, next one I've got here is um this one which is a uk release and this one is robin hood men in tights which stars carrie elves 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 how you say that um and it was directed by the uh, great mel brooks i don't think this is considered one of his uh, classics but it's still a very good film and it's uh, very funny in places as well and uh, this one has, has the original cover artwork that was on the original um, poster when the film was released to the cinemas. And I've always really liked this um, cover artwork. You see he's got loads of arrows in his bow and stuff. Um, so I picked up this UK version. You can also get it from America and it's got a different cover. And it also has a different transfer, I believe. The transfer on this one uh, I think isn't as good as the American Blu-ray release. It's not as clear, it's not as colourful, and it doesn't look like it's been digitally remastered to me. Um, but the American version, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone's watching this, if you know better, the American Blu-ray of this has been digitally remastered, possibly restored, because the picture is much more crisp and clear and colourful and everything, bright. This one, I Watch this on the um, projector on the big screen, and this one didn't look that. It was okay, but it didn't look great. Um, but um, so um, anyway, here's the um, back cover, which isn't too impressive. It's just that one picture of Carrie Elvis on a, on a huge arrow flying through the air on the back here. But anyway, um, I decided to also get the US version, and this is it here. But the cover is nowhere near as good as this one, in my opinion. What do you think? Which cover do you prefer? I think this one's much more um, impressive and stands out more and just looks better. And I like the colour of the uh, Robin Hood at the top, the bright green in that. I don't care for this red in the, in the image at the top. It doesn't really stand out as much. This one's got more impact. More, um, I don't know, it just looks more appealing. You know, it's better to look at, basically. But anyway, on this uh, US version, it's also got an uh, audio commentary by the director himself, Mel Brooks, which I haven't actually listened to yet. In fact, I haven't even watched this American version yet. I just saw some clips of it on YouTube. I think it's taken from this version to look uh, better than the transfer that's on here. And uh, this one also has some uh, extras on it, I think. Yes, it has funny men in tights. Uh, three de generations of comedy HD featurette and Robin Hood Men in Tights The Legend Had It Coming HBO special uh, Yep, yeah, that's all you get and the audio commentary of course and also it's on a dual near disc this 50 gigabyte disc um, it's also got um, DTS HD master audio 5 oh, no. it? Actually, it's, yes it has it's got 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio Sound in the UK version. It doesn't, for some reason. It only has um, surround sound, you know, like Pro, used to be called ProLogic. 
for Logic. It's like BTS HD Master Audio 2.0 or something like that. So the American version appears to be a lot better in, in a lot of ways apart from the cover artwork. And it's also in a thinner box. It's one of those one of those eco eco friendly cases, unfortunately, with the holes in. I mean, who who enjoys those? They're about as much use use as an empty toilet roll thing. I mean, anyway, that's Robin Hood Men in Tights, both the UK and the American versions on Blu-ray. Uh, right next here, I have another one I got recently, and this is a remake of a film that was originally made in 1990 and starred Kiefer Sutherland. Uh, but this one doesn't star him, but I believe he does appear in the film in a sort of cameo appearance. And this one is Flatliners. And I haven't actually uh, watched this one yet, but um, I got this one quite cheap uh, off, um, I think it was Music Magpie, I believe. And also, you may notice it's got this uh, white circle thing going on here, and it's got, uh, you know, um, how do I see? It's got four different people here, so it's got one the right way up there, one upside down, one left to the right in the mega mirror image, but it's different people. I, know, I think this means something, to be honest, this symbolism they've got going on here. But I'm not going to tell you what I think it means here, just in case. But anyway, um, here is the uh, back cover of this. It's got some nice photos there of all the actors involved in the film, who appear in the film, of course. I once spoke to a taxi driver who uh, went to see this film at the cinema, and he said he didn't really think that much of it. He found it quite uh, uninteresting and rather boring. But I've only seen the original, and I'm quite quite a big fan of the original, which was directed by uh, the late, great Joel, Joel Schumacher, of course, who also directed The Lost Boys, and 8mm starring Nicolas Cage, and Batman Forever, that starred uh, Val Kilmer. And he also did Batman and Robin, I believe, that starred George Clooney and um, Chris O'Donnell and Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl, which nobody likes, apparently. Nobody likes Batman and Robin. Uh, I don't think many people like Batman Forever, either. But I think more like that one than the Batman and Robin one. But I like both of them, actually, to be honest. So, like I say, I haven't seen this, but um, it should be an interesting watch since, since I'm a fan of the original. Right, next one I've got here is another 4K release. And I have actually watched this on the big screen on my uh, projector in my cinema room. And this one is the big Lebowski, Lebowski which co uh, of course stars Jeff Bridges, who is one of my uh, favourite actors ever since I saw him in Starman, which was directed by John Carpenter, of course. And he was also in Thunderbolt and Lightfoot with Clint Eastwood, which I'm a, a huge fan of as well. Great movie that. It's underrated that. Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Nobody ever talks about that one hardly. Um, most people talk about, you know, Clint Eastwood's other films, Dirty Harry, and uh, I can't think of the other ones offhand, but you know they don't usually mention Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. But he was in that, and this one's uh, like a cult classic, I believe. And um, the transfer on this is very good, but I think it's been taken from the same master. Um, think that they used for for the uh, for the normal you know for the DVD or the Blu-ray or both. But the thing is it hasn't got the um hasn't got the edge enhancement thing going on. Um I believe it did have the um it did have the uh, what was I gonna say? I don't, know, don't even know what I'm talking about here. Um what am I trying to say? Um the, the Blu-ray had edge enhancement, and if you don't know what that means, if you don't know what that means, it means that the uh, film ha has been artificially sharpened using using digital tools to make the uh, film film look sharper than it actually is. But well, that often puts like a halo effect around the image, around the edges. Um, but I believe that they still used the same film print uh, that they used for the Blu-ray to make this without the edge enhancement, with all the uh, things they did to it, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't look like a brand new uh, remaster type thing. And I've just noticed something weird's going on with one of my lights. It, it's, 
I went off the mains, but for some reason it looks like almost like it's going dim, like the battery's running out or something. But it's powered off the mains, I thought, anyway. The other one's powered off the mains, I've got two lights here. One of them is definitely powered off the mains, but I thought the other one worked off the mains as well. Unless I'm just imagining things that it's going dimmer. Anyway, that's just uh, techno technical stuff that you're, I'm sure you're not even interested in. But that's me. I am interested in stuff like that, so I do apologise for this interlude. Anyway, here's the uh, back cover, which has a few little pictures there from the movie. Still shots, actually, from the actual film. Uh, there's uh, John Tachuro licking his um, bowling ball, for whatever reason. Good luck or something, I'm not sure. And they did make a sequel to this, apparently, that uh, pretty much most people think sucked. And he was the main actor in it, John Tachuro. Tachuro, or Churo, or however you say his name. But uh, I, know how, I know they did make one, and I know a lot of people didn't like it much. And this is a different cover to what was on the UK uh, Blu ray release. I prefer this cover to what was on the Blu ray. Uh, it's a good cover, this, in my opinion. Don't know what you think. Well, I doubt you'll let us know because nobody ever does. But anyway, um, that's the Big Lebowski on 4K Blu ray. And the Blu ray, the, the normal Blu ray that you get in the box with that one is the same edge and edge enhanced version that was uh, available previously next one i've got here is another 4k release uh, which i haven't actually watched but i have a, i have seen the film on blu-ray i think i saw it somewhere anyway and i thought it was a pretty good film and this one is skyscraper starring wayne johnson and it doesn't have a slip cover as I'm sure you've probably noticed. I don't know whether it ever had a slipcover. I was meant to have one, but mine hasn't got one. And I've got the Blu-ray version of this as well, separately. Even though it's got the Blu-ray in this box as well. But I've got the normal Blu-ray release, you know, in the blue box. Um, but um, that one hasn't got a uh, slipcover either. But uh, this, is, this is a pretty good film. I mean, um, it's got lots of uh, really good action scenes in it. And some uh, good CGI effects and what have you. And Wayne Johnson's pretty good in it as well, but I think maybe it lacked a bit of tension for the most part Like if you compare it with like some, something like Die Hard or the uh, Tower and in Inferno it, it, it has like um, less tension like there should have been more tension and more excitement excitement in it or something But maybe that was me. I don't know. Tell me what you thought of uh, Skyscraper if you've seen it Did you find it tense and thrilling? Or did you think it was lacking in those areas? Let us know what you think. And uh, here's the back. Here's the back cover of this one. Nothing to write home about here. It's just a little picture up there, nothing else. Just a load of text. So that's Skyscraper. Which I got, uh, actually got this second hand from CEX online. I forget how much it was now. Maybe it was uh, eight pounds, something like that. I forget, something like that anyway. So that's Skyscraper. Right, the next one I've got here is a USA import, and I should have had this in the other video, which was for the uh, Mill Creek Retro VHS titles, but I forgot about it, so I missed it out. But anyway, here it is. And this is Vibes, which is another, uh, as I've just mentioned, this is, a, this is another retro VHS release from Mill Creek Entertainment. They released quite a few of these, and they've got the original VHS cover artwork. It was on the um, <coughs> excuse me, which was on the USA VHS releases of these films, because USA VHS titles come in um, cardboard cases. Um, ours were in plastic, plastic cases, uh, which uh, Americans apparently call clamshells, which I find quite strange. Because I've never known them as being that. I just used to call them video cases, whatever. Um, but the clamshell name I'm not a big fan of because it, it, I keep thinking of like something on the beach or something and I don't don't like to think of uh, film covers as being something how do you put it I don't like to think of film covers being like something you would find on the beach it doesn't quite quite tie in somehow but never mind but this has got a nice cover nice and colorful and everything Got uh, Cindy Lauper, of course, the uh, famous singer turned actress in a bright pink dress with uh, Jeff Goldblum when he had dark brown hair, and now he hasn't, of course. 
he says, um, growing old is a is a beautiful thing. I think he said something like that anyway on one of the videos he was on on YouTube. Uh, so he doesn't mind getting older. That's a good thing. And by the way, um, I don't know if any of you watch uh, Wet Movie 1 here on YouTube. Brendan Mitchell. He's sort of a, a friend of mine to some extent. Well, not a, you know, I speak to, I've spoke to him uh, here and there on uh, voice messages on, um, uh, what's it called, Facebook Messenger and stuff. He's, he's very friendly most of the time. You can, he'll answer your questions and stuff if you send him messages sometimes, unless he's really, like, really busy and stuff. But he's met, he's actually met Jeff Goldblum, uh, I think once so far. He met him at a um, club, like a music club, because uh, apparently Jeff Goldblum plays the piano and sings and stuff and he does like jazz music and he went Brendan went to one of his shows I don't know, don't know if he had to pay to get in or whether it was free but he uh, met Je Jeff Goldblum after the show and he uh, spoke to him and asked him, asked him some questions and stuff he interviewed him on, on camera and the video for that is here on his YouTube channel if you want to check it out if you haven't seen it and Jeff Goldblum was extremely accommodating with him very friendly he had, uh, he actually had his arm around Brendan while he was talking to him and stuff. So, you know, he seems like a decent guy, does Jeff. Uh, and, and here's the back cover of this one, which has the uh, infamous triangle symbolism on there again. I made a little video on here about the triangle thing, the symbols they use on film covers and stuff. They're asking, you know, what people thought that, that meant, and why it's all, all over the place on film covers and everywhere else. Uh, but anyway, regardless of that, this film all also stars Peter Falk, of course, famously uh, played Columbo in the t TV series for many years. He's in the movie. Uh, it's just the main, main three actors: Peter Falk, uh, Cindy Lauper, and Jeff Goldblum. And this is all about a bunch of psychics who are hired by Peter Falk, I believe, to find his son. Uh, out in the middle of nowhere in the jungle at a type place somewhere. It's a really good film, but the trouble is with these releases by Mill Creek, there's no uh, scene selection on the menu, there's no extras, and there's only one button on the menu, menu which says play, and that's all you get. You can just play the movie and that's it, with a picture on the background, that's it. If I was making these Blu-rays, I would put scene selections on, I would put some extras on, I would Put the best picture picture I could find on the background for the main menu and stuff. Because I actually make some Blu-rays and I do put like decent images on the uh, Blu-ray menu for the background and stuff. And uh, what have you. So I do a better job than what Mill Creek do. But having said that, it's still good to have this on Blu-ray. And you can get this at a reasonable price on uh, eBay if you, if you have a look for it. So that's uh, Vibes. Right, on to the next one now. The next one I have here for you is this one, which is the Long Shot. Long Shot with uh, Charlie Theron and Seth Rogen, of course. This is a sort of romantic comedy about a, I think Charlie Theron plays a, uh, I think on the TV news or something. I haven't actually watched the film yet. I should say that on the TV news or she's a politician. It might be a politician actually. I might. It's one of the two. I think it's a politician, though. Um, yeah, maybe it's a politician. Um, that I wouldn't have thought that's the best um, idea for a story for a romantic comedy, having a politician, um, you know, dating some guy, maybe. But uh, maybe it's all right. I haven't watched it yet. But I like Charlie Theron, and I like Seth Rogen, so I might enjoy it. I like this cover, though, with the bright yellow background and stuff. Quite eye-catching, in my opinion. It's got a nice, uh, shiny, glossy uh, slipcover as well, uh, which is good. And I got this one for about, uh, it was only like two quid. Like, uh, well, I, I didn't buy this one dead recently. It was in the last couple of months or so, but I got it off somebody called Cinema Disco on eBay in the UK here. And he often has some uh, bargain prices for Blu-rays. And 4K discs, and I think he maybe sells some DVDs as well. But, um, yep, so this was a bargain, even though, though I don't know what it's like yet because I haven't actually watched it. But, um, it's a uh, you know, it's a bargain, so and it stars two, two of my favorite actors. So, 
can't really complain so that's uh, the long shot next one here I was disappointed with the version I received in the post um, I've seen this film before um, but I haven't seen this blu-ray version um, but I've got this from music magpie uh, and this one is a film starring Ben Affleck and it's called Gone Girl but I don't like this packaging I mean look at this look how thick it is look at that it's actually that thick for, for one reason and it's dead heavy as well if you put this on a set a set of scales I'm sure it would break the scales I hate like blu-rays that are like a ton weight with extra stuff stuff in you don't really need and what you get inside is basically is this I mean what is this I mean it's, it's like it's a kids like book or something like storybook type thing and uh, it's a while since I watched the film but I'm thinking well what's this got to do with the film exactly some of you who are a fan of this film pro probably know but uh, uh, the, the book's called Paddle, Paddle Tale Amazing Amy Paddle Tale and uh, you know it's just a uh, well it's got like loads of like you know, pictures in and stuff I can't really show you but it's hard to it's hard to turn the page it's like a stiff sort of paperback type thing but uh, I didn't really want this this uh, I wasn't expecting this book thing um, it's got some dodgy pictures in this thing as well like nearly every nearly every picture in the book I don't know if you can see this I'll show you in a minute uh, let's see yep pretty much every picture in the book nearly has got this in it you can see that you see the air uh, can you hear it? So I can see it. Um, the floor here in the picture, you see the floor? It's like a tiled floor with like black and white uh, square tiles. I know it's like grey and white, but it's meant to be black and white. Um, I don't know if you know this, but um, the, the black and white floor, the black and white checkered floor, is actually in all the Freemasons' lodges all over the world. I don't know if it's in everyone, but. From what, what I've learned from a certain person online on YouTube, he reckons every Masonic Lodge has the black and white checkered floor in it. And they also use that, that uh, those floors in movies all over the place. If you look out for them, you'll see them. They're like in music videos as well. They always have that black and white checkered pattern. Either as a floor or something in the, in the video somewhere. Maybe, maybe on some clothing or something. But that's where it comes from, apparently. Um... So I was very disappointed with this uh, version of Gone Girl because I wanted just the normal version in a, in a plastic um, case, you know the normal case you get, but this is like in a cardboard slip case, which is thicker with a book. But anyway, that's what you get, and there's some pictures on the back, <clears throat> and um, three pictures to be precise. So that's Gone Girl, uh, some sort of special limited edition I guess, so anyway. And the last one I've got to show you here is, um, I don't know, some people m might want to switch the video off at this point if you haven't switched off already. Um, but the next one is not really for any female viewers that might, might be watching this video, I doubt there'll be any. But if you are a female viewer, can you let me know who you are because I don't think I've got any on here, no at least not many. Maybe some of them watch some of my videos but I don't think they watch most of them. But if you are a girl or a woman, or both, um, please let me know. Because I'd like to know if I've got any female viewers out there, how many of them. Um, but this next title won't be up your alley, unless you're a cert of a certain... Um, you, 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 uh, how do I put it? Unless you're inclined that way, unless you, you've got preferences for that sort of thing. Um, if you know what I mean. Actually, that probably doesn't make any sense. I'm not uh, making much sense tonight, am I? I do apologize anyway the next one here is a 3d title which is quite rare um, and it's this one it's called penthouse 3d stripping divas um, it uh, features this girl on the front here she's in some of the uh, some of the um, how do you put it some of the uh, penthouse blu uh, I don't I don't know how else you describe it actually it's not a film so I can't say it's a film not a TV show, it's not a TV, well, 
actually it was made for TV this was made for television and it has been on television but I never saw it apparently it was on I think they were originally on Sky or something in 3D when Sky had 3D but they scrapped it since scrapped the 3D stuff um, but the 3D on this is uh, like really good very good in fact it's actually better than some of the films that are in 3D and um, you need obviously you need a 3D television for those of you who don't know know how to watch 3D and 3D televisions unfortunately are very hard to get these days for some reason because the, the 4K televisions are mostly not 3D but they should have made them so they were 3D in my opinion uh, so you can still buy 3D Blu-ray players and you can still buy 3D movies and these ones as well if you look out for them carefully on eBay and places like that you can still find them on rare occasions um, but you need a 3D TV and 3D glasses and there's two different types of 3D televisions there's the passive type and then there's the um, the other one's called again, I forgot <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, what's the other one's called? Let's think. Um, I can't think right now because I'm a bit tired. But there's two different types of 3D. And passive is one of them, and the other one's something else which I can't think of right now. But the uh, the other type that I'm trying to think of, uh, the batteries take glass. I mean, the glasses take batteries, not the batteries take glasses. That's the wrong way around. <laughs> um, and you, so you have to keep changing the batteries or charging them, well not changing them, you have to charge them up in the glasses. Uh, but I've got the passive type 3D on my TV and I've got um, some on my projector as well. Uh, but that, the ones on the projector take the batteries in the glasses. Um, but the TV does a great job, my TV does a great job with the passive 3D I think. And uh, I've got two different projectors that, that do 3D. In fact I've got three that do 3D I think. But one of them, the, the 1080 pixel projector, uh, the 3D is way better on that one than it is on the 4K projector. I don't know why that is, but it is way better. And that was a bit of a disappointment because the, the 4K projector was a lot more expensive than the 1080p one. But anyway, this is a good um, Blu-ray, this one. Um, the photography is um, really well done. Uh, it's a colorful, bright, pin sharp picture quality really brightly lit scenes mostly shot in a, in a studio setting and with good looking models uh, nobody's completely naked in these things by the way they're very uh, um, politically correct I don't know what you call it they're not like ex really explicit they're not like like pornographic or anything they're just sort of like glamorous type stuff you know they're just topless and stuff that's all nothing else you know nothing to uh, you know Nothing like uh, certain websites on the internet or anything. Uh, a lot tamer than those, I would say. But anyway, there's uh, other models in this, not just the one on the front. So there's some of the ones that's in it on the back. You can see those there. And I believe this also contains the uh, 2D version, if you're interested. Uh, and you can, So you can play either one. You don't have to have a 3D television. But I think this title was released um, in just 2 2D as well separately as well but the both versions are on the same di disc so um so this has got a nice cover I don't know what you think it's just uh it looks pretty good to me and uh this uh this penthouse bit is embossed in silver as well so big Paulie would be happy with that bit I think because it's nice nice embossing you know he likes his embossing I know that much he doesn't like me much but he likes his embossing uh, the reason I say that is because I used to be his friend on Facebook but he took us off his list because he didn't like some of the things I had to say uh, even though I wasn't trying to cause any trouble or anything like that I just told him about a few things and before I know it I was taken out of his uh, chat and movies group and then he took us off his friends list as well but what can you do eh? Uh, I can't do anything about that, I tried my best but it didn't, didn't go down too well so anyway, that's uh, Penthouse Stripping Divas on Blu-ray, and this is a German import. By the way, there's the German certificate down in the uh, left-hand corner. Yep, yeah, that's left. Couldn't tell me right from the left because I've got this all the way around. And uh, you can still pick these up. The 3D ones are uh, 
harder to get than the 2D versions, but every so often if you look on eBay, you can sometimes find them. And they're usually available from, I think, Momox, Momox, a company called Momox, which are based in Germany, and they sell them sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes get some in, you know. So anyway, that's Penthouse 3D, Stripping Divas. Right, that's all I've got for you for the minute. Um, so I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video. I'm sorry it went on a bit long. I do apologize. I meant to do it shorter, but I tend to ramble on too much sometimes, so I do apologize for that. But if you did enjoy this video, could you please give us a thumbs up if you don't mind. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. And also don't forget to click the bell option that says all on the top if you want to receive all the notifications when I do upload anything. And uh, if you've got anything like you'd like to say, I will get back to everyone who uh, messages me on the comments. Uh, with anything you've got to say, any questions, any comments, anything, I'll get back to you, I promise. I always answer everybody. And if there's anyone I don't answer, it's because I've missed it by accident. Where I'll get back to you as eventually, I promise that. Okay, so I will get back to you all. If you've got anything you want to say or ask me. So, uh, well, that's pretty much it then. So, thank you very much for watching. And bye for now. I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.